Hi Gospel Guitarist here today. I'm going to try to repair my GK3 wiring going in to the pickup and get this pickup right here under the second string. See if I can't get it working again and I'll videotape the process and hopefully show you the what you got to do in case it happens to you too. And it's happening to a lot of people so hopefully this will be a helpful video for anyone that owns this unit. Okay, we got this unit off the guitar here, and uh, the mounting bracket is still on the guitar. But um, next, we got to bend these little tongue, whatever you call them, tabs that are holding on the metal casing right here to remove it from this plastic motherboard, which these things are all attached to. So all you have to do is use your flathead screwdriver to just bend these up and then the whole thing starts to pull loose like that. Okay one of the things you're going to have to do to get this apart is you're going to have to take this height adjustment screw in the middle and unscrew it completely so that it releases from the pickup motherboard. And then you're left with this and you have access to these fine wires right in here. Okay, as you can see, we're talking pretty seriously small soldering joints here. And if you flip them around, there are little silver dots on the back. Um, I'm trying not to bend this away from here like this because this plastic will break right here if I keep bending it. So you can see the little solder points here. Now on mine, all of these points are actually soldered. But when I put pressure, I believe it was on this one, I'm going to check here in a minute again um, to make sure I heat the right one. It might just be a cold solder joint. So I'm going to reheat these and make sure I get a good connection in there. The wires are not loose, they are connected, but it is intermittent. And so as you can see, here's a good shot of the little soldering, soldering joints right here. Trying to get light on it, it's very difficult and uh, to get the angle for you. Okay, to my surprise, um, all the wires um, were still soldered on the bottom and I had the idea looking at how tightly crimped this was on this wire on the cable jacket there see how tight that is I wondered hmm, I wonder if that's crimping one of the connections and so I grabbed this and I kind of twisted this around a little bit and now I have my second pickup working again and I haven't done any soldering at all it was I believe it just was too tight on here I may remove this thing completely and use electrical tape or shrink wrap or something around this thing I'm not sure yet I'll get back to you in a minute on what I do here but apparently it's just got pinched inside there because like I say all of the little the little solder joints on the bottom down here are all intact all the wires are still intact and when I move the wire a little bit I can get a connection with the second pickup and even right now just by me holding this and moving I'm seeing a, a, a registration on all of the six pickups so all the, all the connections are working um, but when they install this metal cover to protect the wires they have to crimp it and and have it grab onto the outer casing but it looks like they may be crimping it a little too too tight and it's pinching the wires now is it broken inside I don't I don't know if it's broken inside I'd have to obviously go up here and cut off this and then completely rewire everything but I'm gonna go with this being pinched right now since it still works and um, try to remove this thing and go from there Okay, what I did was um, I wound up loosening the metal plate's grip on the cable as it comes in. So it just basically goes through, the cable feeds through the two tongs like this, but they don't crimp on it. 
I super glued the screw plate back on and then I took a little piece of tape here and uh, wrapped the tape around it just some electrical tape just to help reinforce this area a little bit there's not a lot you can do because there's the motherboards under here so can't really use a better screw without risking damaging something on the motherboard below it so but I still have all six poles are still working so I'm going to reinstall it on a guitar now and um, make sure it still works okay as you can see looking at the uh, display on the synthesizer that's the second string registering again first second the second one was not working now it is and it was all because of a pinched cable they all work I'm back in business and I didn't even touch a soldering iron so before you go messing with this stuff, it just really pays to check everything about your wire. Um, all it was was a pinched cable coming into the pickup. There was nothing wrong with it at all. It was just simply pinched and must have been shorting it out somehow. So I have the repair done and the, and the uh, GK3 is back up and running. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps somebody debug what's going on in theirs. I have read where people have had broken wires on those little tiny connections showed earlier in the video. And people have had issues with the MIDI cable coming, you know, from the GK3 to the GR55. So really check over your cables before you break out the soldering iron. Have it ready. Like I've had it sitting here hot on standby and hoping I didn't have to use it. And I didn't, and so I got lucky this time. So, so thanks for watching, and please remember to subscribe. And if you know anybody that has this problem, please forward them this video. So, thanks, and take care.